Uh, hello, this is the 10th session and start of chapter 5 uh, in which we are talking about structure of polymers. Here um, we will talk about uh, what are the general structural and chemical characteristic, uh, characteristics of polymer molecules. We will talk about uh, what uh, some of the common polymeric materials are and how they differ chemically. We will talk about how uh, the crystalline state in polymer is different from that in metals and ceramics. Uh, when we look at polymers, we see that uh, there are repeating units, like these ones shown in blue. And uh, the whole uh, material is made by connecting these repeating units together. Each repeat unit is called in Greek as mer and because we have many of them so these materials are called polymer or many repeat unit as you can see this is the <coughs> excuse me this is the repeat unit for polyethylene this is for pvc or polyvinyl chloride and this is for polypropylene polymers are not new materials for human um, we have originally natural polymers that uh, people have been using polymers like wood, cotton, leather, rubber, wool, and silk. Uh, one of the oldest known uh, uses for poly polymer were uh, these rubber balls that were used by Incas. Uh, another example is uh, Noah that used the pitch, uh, which is a natural polymer for the ark, for the ship. Uh, most polymers are <coughs> hydrocarbons, uh, that is, they are made up of hydrogen and carbon. Uh, you know, hydrogen and carbon have a low atomic number and atomic weight, so we expect that polymers to be light compared to uh, other materials such as ceramics and metals. Uh, in polymers, we have saturated hydrocarbons, which means each uh, carbon is bonded singly to four other atoms. So the bond between carbons are just single bond. An example is ethan, C2H6, as you can see here. Uh, it's called saturated because carbon is uh, connected and bonded to as many as hydrogen as possible. So in other words, they are saturated with hydrogen bond. Uh, just to <coughs> refresh your mind that uh, these hydrocarbons are all starting with these uh, prefix that are uh, most of them uh, Greek numbers and then they end with uh, affix A. So if uh, based and this is happening based then on the number of carbon. So if there is only one carbon which is CH4 it's called methane, two carbon ethane and so on and so forth. Uh, the composition and molecular structure of uh, some of these uh, hydrocarbons are shown in table 5.1 in page 119 of your textbook as you can see here. The table includes composition, structure and their boiling point. As I said, uh, saturated hydrocarbons are those that have um, carbon with singly bonds. If there are double and triple bonds for carbon, which is uh, somewhat unstable, uh, this is called unsaturated hydrocarbons. Uh, double and triple bonds can form new bonds, of course. Uh, double bonds, like here, found in ethylene, or ethene, as you can see here. So this is ethene and this is a double bond between C between carbon atoms. A uh, triple bond found uh, in acetylene or ethene as you can see C2H2 and there is a triple bond between carbon atoms in the unit in the repeat unit. In case, um, in case two compounds with uh, same chemical formula have different structure this is called isomer and the process is called isomerism uh, 
as an example we can look for uh, CH H18 which is octane in normal octane you would see uh, a polymer structure like this one which is equal to this chain in this chain format that can be simplified as shown here uh, the same type of material can be polymer can be also found in this chain format of polymer formulation as you can see here which results in another isomer of octane uh, in polymer chem uh, chemistry polymerization is a process of reacting monomer molecules together uh, in a chemical reaction to form polymer chains or three-dimensional networks so this is started by the help of a radical what is radical or free radical it's an atom molecule or ion that has ampere valence electron if it has ampere electron um, uh, valence electron it's ready to interact with a uh, monomer mo molecule uh, this has been beautifully shown in this uh, video that I have uh, sent or I have uh, shown the, uh, the link here assume uh, the repeating unit for ethylene yeah as mentioned before this uh, bond is a little bit unstable but then the next step is the initiation initiation of polymerization how uh, the molecule like organic peroxide is under hot or high temperature and high pressure then this bond between oxygen will break and then each of these parts are ready to make to break this uh, bond and make a bond with carbon as you can see here so each of them can break this bond so this bond will break and then we will have the next step as you can see here so the peroxide is, if it's in contact with the ethylene this double bond is broken and then we will have a new repeat unit as you can see here of course now this carbon has a free hand or free um, electron valence so it's looking for another another unit to uh, to bond so this process is continuing as you can see all ethylenes are broken and then we have a chain of these ethylenes connected to each other the first step was initiation and now we have propagation of this chain and when the two, this chain reaches to this uh, will stop when the, the radical of one chain meets another radical of another chain and when they meet each other the whole process of polymerization uh, stops you can see a, a better representation of the video here in this uh, YouTube the process is also shown here you see there is a free radical here so this double bond will break and this carbon is connected to the radical so now we have a free radical here this is the start of initiation and this process is continuing so this is called propagation and when they meet another similar radical this will stop the polymerization will stop uh, the initiator uh, which can be used here as a free radical is uh, peroxide and you can see an example of uh, benzoyl peroxide when this bond between oxygen is broken and now we have a free radical here <coughs> as well as the other radical in the other side so we have two of them based on when this process of polymerization stops we might have long chain hydrocarbon like polyethylene or short chain uh, hydrocarbon like paraffin wax. Uh, the repeat unit for some of the common uh, polymeric materials are shown in table 5.3 as you can see here uh, in these uh, three slides that refers uh, to page 124 and 125 of your textbook and you are required to memorize <coughs> this re repeat unit that are shown in page 124 the first uh, five polymers um, <coughs> a repeat unit structure uh, can also uh, be found and can be also be uh, 
explored using VMSE provided by Wiley as you can see here uh, an example showing uh, polyvinyl chloride or PVC this is the single repeater unit and then you can make a chain out of it and this is very interactive as you can manipulate and rotate the whole polymer structure this is uh, uh, the end of this session thank you